it will be quite a transformation from long stilettos to short natural nails. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. Today we have this set to do a transformation. So these are polygel nails and you can see that there is just too much product on top as well as underneath the nails. And no, it wasn't a dual form extension, it was a regular extension. So this model shared that her friend uh, was going to become a nail technician, so she started practicing by herself and she just was her practice model. When she first sent me this picture of her nails, I noticed that the surface is rather uneven, but I still was thinking that maybe we can do a fill, like I will file them shorter and transform to a short square nails and we can still do a fill. Um, so that's why I'm taking off the color first so I can see what's going on there underneath and then we can figure out what is better to do with these nails. At this point, it's clear that the color of the black gel polish on top is not fully cured, especially near the cuticle, so my drill bit is already clogged, and honestly, I changed about the three bits within this product removal, and they were all the same, this uh, cone-shaped one with a green abrasive mark. So if the product was not fully cured, it means whether the layer was too thick or maybe the lamp was not powerful enough. So now at this point I was like, sorry girl, but we definitely need to take them off. That's like the only way because there's plenty of product lifting and there's just no way we can do a feel for that. These nails are made with polygel and couple nails were made with a regular hard gel. And honestly, most polygels that I ever worked with, they were pretty soft when it comes to filing, especially with carbide bits. But this one in particular was so hard, I actually had to apply pressure, you see, even my bead got stuck a couple times. Um, it may also happen because the layer is rather thick, but Honestly, it's been only one time I think I tried a polygel that was hard as a rock. It was a Chinese brand named Roniki. I actually have this video on my channel too. So in case you're interested, I will leave the link down below. So I decided to take the entire product off. You can also see that near the cuticle it is rather thick and the lifting is mostly in the center. So this girl did a quite a smart move to take them off right now. It's been about two or three weeks, I believe, since uh, she did the extensions. Because if she would have waited more, let's say four or five weeks, then the lifting will be much more than that and she could just painfully start breaking and losing the nails and they also could damage the natural nail. So that's why building the proper structure of the nail is important not only for the elegant look of the nails, but it also depends on how long these nails will last and also on the condition of the natural nail. So now I'm simply filing the length first and another mistake that I noticed here is that the thickest part is on the free edge, which means that these nails were too thick on the tip and it actually makes them easier to break while the apex area was extremely thin and it should be the opposite the apex area should be thicker and as we go closer to the free edge the nails should be thinner Eyes glow like two fires, movement so graceful while cat in the jungle with dangerous claws movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey like stars in the darkest night crystallize fascinate if you want to stay alive yes done with the product removal and now it is time to do some cuticle care and prep and first, I will be pushing back the cuticles with a pusher. I'm using the Russian brand called Silver Star. Take a look at this cuticle. It is rather thick, which means I strongly do not recommend pushing it all at once. Like, you know, you make this one hard push and that's it. That might be dangerous and we can even uh, damage the cuticle this way. So what I recommend doing instead, doing it carefully with it in a few steps, like go all the way from one side to the other and then repeat it by pushing it back a little bit more. 
So do not try to do it within just one move because it can be painful and we can even tear up the skin. Now I'm going to work with the e-file. I'm using flame bit with a red abrasive mark. The speed is about 15,000 rotations per minute. As this cuticle is rather long, I also recommend um, taking the client's finger so you can actually see what's going on there and do not forget to clean the dust from time to time. It is not recommended to work in the areas if you are unable to clearly see them. When I'm done working on one side, I switch to the opposite one and do the same thing but on the right side this time. And also my beat is rotating in the opposite direction, counterclockwise, which is reverse mode. The speed is the same and I'm cleaning the left side. Once again, make sure that you see where your beat is actually going. Do not press into the nail plate. At this point, our goal is only to clean the skin and to push the cuticle up so it will be easier to trim it. Now we are going to shape the nail. So basically, I'm just filing them short into the square shape and then I will trim the cuticles. Since this skin is not dry at all, it is much easier to trim the cuticles with the scissors. I will be using the ones by Silver Star as well. I'm not sure if I will explain it correct now, but let me guys know in the comment if it makes sense what I'm saying now. So these scissors have this special hand sharpening, which means like an actual person after they were produced in a factory actually make them sharper by their own hands. So that's why they are so sharp and so easy to work with. Because normally when you're buying a new scissors, even if those are manicure scissors, they are not sharp enough and you need to go to the special sharpening services where they will do it for you. And it's also important so that person who will be doing that need to specialize in manicure scissors because it's quite different uh, sharpening the regular scissors, let's say the one you use for gardening or, I don't know, cutting paper. And it's a totally different thing for skin uh, and nails because they're much smaller and it's quite important to make it right. I am really glad I finally found the one and I usually do it about every two months. Now let's do the application. So in one nail we have the corner missing. And now let's create it with a poly gel. So I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer, and then we will simply add the corner. Normally, if you want to do something like that with a poly gel, you are supposed to apply the entire poly gel on the nail. But sometimes I experiment and do things like that. And from my experience, small corner, which is only on the free edge, may work like that. But make sure you do not press too much product underneath. Now let's clean the sticky layer and I will shape it right away because then I'm going to apply gel and I do not want to do any filing anymore. So I just want to finish up with all this shaping at this point. Now make sure you clean it and clean the dust as well. And I'm going to use a luminary nail system, a color Hope, which is one of my favorite colors. It is so natural and it suits most skin tones. So first I apply a thin layer and now we have two options. You can whether just apply this layer and cure it and then apply another or I actually tried doing it differently and it worked as well. So I apply this thin coat first and I will not cure it and then I will apply a thicker coat right away and like cure them together and it works pretty good as well. So this is not just a color, this is a color base, which means it is a base coat and the color two in one. So it's okay to apply it like that. And the great thing about it is that it actually has a color. Because you know, if you are using a clear base, then you have to apply another color. And if let's say client wants pink and white or baby boomer or nude, this is great because you already have some color foundation. 
I'm using the same technique that I use for applying hard gel. So I take the drop, start from the cuticle and go all the way down. Now, if you notice that there is not enough product on the sides, you can carefully um, move it there with the brush from the bottle or you can also use the small brush. I'm using the one, uh, the same one I just used for small details for the nail art. Now when you're happy with the surface, it is time to cure them for 30 seconds in LED. And that's it. One coat I think is enough here. And now let's do some design. I'm using neon gel polishes and we decided to do um, you know, this dripping neon drops like a nice cream or something. I've seen a similar design on Pinterest and I thought it might look pretty well on the short nails too. So I'm using two colors, neon yellow and neon orange, and we decided to combine two colors on each nail. So it will be basically like a rainbow. I've seen the same design with the matte top coat. So you first apply the matte top coat on the color and then you use a no wipe gel paints on top if you have neon colors. I think it will look pretty good as well, but we decided to seal it all with the glossy top coat and to have a glossy design. Cure in LED for 60 seconds and we are done. Now this was quite a transformation. I mean, we went all the way from long, black stilettos into short natural looking nude nails let me guys know what do you think and what was the most unusual and transformational nail transformation that you ever did with your clients i would love to read your comments thank you so much for watching if you are first time here on my channel consider subscribing as i post new tutorials just like this one every week and i will see you in my next one goodbye